my YouTube friends. So I I went into the shop today uh, to treat myself, you know, like to buy fragrances. And um, before I knew what I want to buy, and I bought it. But before I bought it, I went into another shop just to try, to, just to, to try another fragrances. So uh, I tried two of them. So one of them, um, which I will talk about it, is uh, this Givenchy Le Interdit. Givenchy Le Interdit. So I'm not familiar with these fragrances. I don't know much about it, and I ended up not buying it. But um, but what do I think? Is that um, I th I think it's a good fragrance. Like if I wouldn't know other fragrances, um, let's say if I would need to buy, you know, to somebody, I would probably think that it's not a bad fragrance to buy. It reminds me, for an example, of Lancome fragrances or, you know, the same kind of quality as, let's say, Chanel fragrances too. They don't uh, smell the same, but I mean the quality about it, like the, you know, the strength and kind of the quality of the fragrance is kind of pretty high, I would say. So I didn't, uh, I didn't bought it. That means um, it didn't kind of surprise me that much. And um, the price was like for 30 mil, I think around 65 euro or something like that, which is quite expensive, you know. So like without knowing this fragrance, you know, for me at the beginning, I thought like it's kind of feminine fragrance, uh, pretty, pretty strong, you know, for that type of woman that kind of maybe likes to feel rich in a way you know maybe in the way that women dress or maybe you know women that likes like quality clothes and let's say women that wouldn't like to smell cheap in a way you know women that would like to spray something like uh, feeling expensive so that's what gave me that type of sense and the fragrance was lasting is pretty I think it's pretty 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 strong I would say the lasting power although I don't have experience wearing it so I mean it's not sufficient um, you know I'm not sufficient to tell you like exactly what is this like fragrance about but that was just my first impression and when you look on internet like it says there is orange blossom jasmine Mm, some kind of tuberose, never heard about it before. And then there is also vetiver and patchouli. And then it says it's like a, mm, like a tree, it's like a bold, it's all about bold femininity, bold femininity. So it's pretty, pretty much that's what it smells like. And then it says, forbid yourself nothing, allow no rules. So probably they created this fragrance for maybe like a very bold and strong woman. Maybe it could be like a business woman, you know, it would be very suitable for business woman or like, let's say if you are kind of like a, you know, like a strong woman and not strong, but I mean like, let's say a busy woman, you know, like a, Mm, kind of and you would like to smell nice and quality smell you know like let's say if you are buying Chanel so maybe this is an or Lancome so maybe this is another thing what you could consider about also it says it's it recommends this fragrance also to embrace your singularity so it's again like saying about like being a strong woman and when you look at the, um, this uh, tribute uh, you know like each fragrance has their own uh, tribute or like when they advertise the fragrance so they create like a little video so it's a bit strange that video but as you can see again like a woman walking in, in the night uh, and very nicely dressed I'm not sure where is she walking but she kind of doesn't you know it seems like she's pretty strong woman and and kind of uh, and she's not afraid of anything and kind of she's walk walking alone she's walking alone so it's kind of they say to embrace singularity so that's what that fragrance kind of represents you know 
before, maybe six months ago, I remember I went to, to try other Givenchy fragrances, like um, some, I was, you know, this brand, I don't know, like I'm not familiar with this brand, and I was spraying them, um, and I think from all of them, I felt like they are kind of will be powerful, uh, the the, la the lasting power will be powerful mm, and this you know the quality is there in the fragrance mm, but kind of they didn't kind of impress me that much as you know as if I would like to buy them but if you would like to buy you know for somebody like let's say for your mom or for some kind of like, uh, you know, business woman or like some kind of like a manager type of woman, you know, I, I don't know if you know what I mean. I think this fragrance is mm, pretty perfect. Or let's say even if you want to buy for your wife as well, this fragrance would be kind of, mm, you know, would be much better gift instead of buying like something else, um, you know. So it's it's not like the most amazing fragrance ever, but there is something something in it kind of very very nice as well. You know, it's just um, I discovered some other fragrances uh, that are a little bit better for me, so that's why I, I end up not buying it. And um, I will tell you what I end up buying in another video. I bought the same thing as I normally love and I bought two bottles of them and I just can't keep on coming back to those fragrances forever and ever so I can tell you the secret I bought Molecule again I bought two bottles like uh, one one type Molecule and then the other one as well it's like basically I just can't find anything better for the moment so that's all I will be back to you soon and bye bye